Okay, so it's still Microsoft news, everyone. Sorry if that <laughs> bores you. But at this point, there is no fill component to it. This is oh. a leak and a kind of bizarre one, nonetheless. Um, obviously, when there was the Microsoft FTC leak, there was the reveal, uh, albeit an unintended one, of the unreleased console. It was allegedly coming out holiday this year. The Adora be all digital Xbox Series X. And um, this was kind of like, there was a counterpoint to this, which was there was a rumor that there would be uh, a device arriving sooner, which effectively does the same thing, which would be based on the current Series X. And there is a leak of this machine now. It's a white, all digital Xbox Series X. I understand from sources that this is legit. Whether it makes it to a final shipping product, I don't know. But there it is. Those are the pictures. Oliver, what do you make of this one? Yeah, I guess, I guess at this point, we don't know if this is the Xbox Oops All Digital <laughs> or if this is something to bridge the gap, uh, which I'm sure Rich will right. talk about. But at this point, I th think I sort of almost, maybe this is going to be controversial, I sort of almost like this better than the adorably all digital Xbox. Because, really? Well, okay. I, I like the existing Xbox Series shell, and I like the way that the Series X stacks almost perfectly on top of it. And I like the way that it's laid out internally, and I like the thermal design. I think it's a very sensible thermal design that will probably age well because it's using a lower pressure fan, and dust buildup probably isn't as much of an issue as it would be with a blower fan. Um, which obviously, you know, probably the, the the revision would also use that kind of fan layout. But I think it's a it's a good layout. It's uh, tried and true, and it looks interesting. Um, and it is kind of a workable <laughs> console in terms of its dimensions. Whereas the okay. updated console, you know, it's a cylinder. It's like a Mac Pro, so it's not going to be easily stackable. It's going to be a bit of a pain in a home theater setup. But I don't love the appearance of the Brooklyn refre Refresh console that was leaked, but I do think that the updated white console would look a lot cooler, personally. I think it looks a little bit drab as it is, but I think it would look a lot cooler with green power LEDs to remind you of the 360. I think that would be a really interesting choice. Um, I yeah. think that console with green highlights would at least be... Uh, visually compelling. I guess it's not as exciting as a full refresh console, but at the same time, it's uh, it's a design that clearly works. So I'm not that offended by it, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be like a limited edition for all we know. Uh, John, what do you think? I mean, it's just, it, it, it seems to exist. It's a thing. <laughs> I see zero purpose in it. It's just, it's like, here's a Series X, but worse, basically. Yeah. Like what I... I I don't, I would not want or need this product. There's zero reason for me to own it. Uh, it would essentially mean a, a large chunk of games that I would use on there, both from backwards compatible and newer stuff, I couldn't use. I think we can <laughs> safely assume that this isn't a console for you, John. No, it's not a console for me at all. Do you think there's a console that would be appealing to other people? Uh, not really. Like, <laughs> yeah. the Series X isn't exactly moving units, is it? Like, to make this work, it's like, here's the Series X, but we also took away the disk drive, which some people, <laughs> others might still care about. Uh, what the heck would draw customers to this? If anything, I actually heard from a couple friends already that's like, well, I guess I have to go get a Siri, a regular Series X now, uh, you know, before they're gone, just to, because it'll be the last chance to have that type of machine. But I mean... If if the Series X isn't moving, what is, what does this do for the brand that gets people excited again? That's the question I have. Like, there's nothing, but we don't know if there's something more to it. But based on this, it's just like this is the same thing, but what worse? Uh, the only way I could see it really moving the needle maybe is if the price was much much lower. Like, if this was like two ninety nine or something, then maybe actually it would move the needle if they could like just kill off the Series S and make this like the the new entry level. Right. I don't think I don't think that's what they're going to do, but if I they can do that financially I, viable. I don't think so either. Like it's just it's just like a it's just a random I don't know, it's a weird the thing is though is like in console lifespans we we've often seen consoles strip back features in later models. Mm. Uh Obviously, you know, two of the big ones, there's the, the Wii Mini, which was just a piece of garbage that took away yeah. the 
It took away the decent video output options and it removed the, the Wi-Fi. There's the GameCube that removed the digital video out, which to be fair, I used it back in the day, but most people probably did not. Yeah. Uh, there's, you know, some of the, the late model PS2s, like the very last model PS2 has more limited backwards compatibility due to the chip that they shifted to. And it's just generally not as good of a unit. Uh, there's the, the late model Super NES's, uh, which can, which can be great now if you mod in RGB, but they lacked RGB. Uh, there's the PSP Street, if you remember that thing, which was also a big old piece of junk. Or even the, the PSP Go, which is only good because it got jailbroken. And without yeah. that, it's also worthless. So, like, the this new Series X just looks like one of those where it's just like, well, okay, here's a here's a different revision that sucks. <laughs> well... Well, we got this question from Ben Woods. Uh, <laughs> thoughts on the all digital Series X not looking so adorable? And I think he's hit the nail on the head there because um, you know if you're going to do a console a, re- a console revision, right? It's an opportunity to actually do a refresh to make it new, interesting, cool, etc. Whereas the the strategy here seems to be uh, cost reduction. I understand the heat sink has been um, uh, changed uh, and. You know, there's not really much going on in terms of changing of the tooling, etc. It's it's an Xbox Series X, right? You know, just with <laughs> it's just white without a optical drive, and it is <laughs> difficult to market when you say, "Hey, check out this new console." Um, it's just like the one we've already got out, a different color, but actually functionally worse than the one. I mean, it's like oh, it's got it's got there. a. It's got an extra 500 gigs or something of storage space. Well, actually, that's that was the other thing, of course, which is that uh, the adorably all digital Series X would have two terabytes. You know, that, which that is nice, of, but hardly something where it's like get people excited that aren't already excited for Xbox. Yeah, but you know, the point is that having a new piece of hardware that looks different is um, you know a way you can market it. You know, mm. it gives it a bit more of a, a bit more oomph, so to speak. Whereas. I, I'm not seeing any evidence here that we're actually looking at what could have been the adorably all digital uh, nah. Series X because there's no real hints apart from possibly the heatsink that we're actually changing the silicon. Uh, from what I understand, it may still be a seven nanometer chip. So it, you know, it may well be the case that the refresh is still coming, and this is some bizarre limited That's edition. True. That's true. It could be, you know, they've all, they've also they've also got that subscriber model right where you can actually subscribe and get the console and Game Pass Ultimate. Maybe it's designed for that. We don't have any context no, as no, to what no. this That's machine true. is actually about. Exactly. Um, and surely they, Microsoft must be aware that putting out a white version of the Series X that doesn't have a disk drive is, isn't a way to you know, reignite interest in Xbox. So I'm wondering what, what this actually is and what it's intended for. The, the other problem, Rich, I see is like, Based on timetables, this is looking to be the kind of thing it would release in a similar time frame as the PS5 Pro and then the new Switch, and which would be new, different hardware. And so if all three have new hardware arriving and the Xbox, which is selling worse than the other machines right now, only has like a slight cosmetic difference, yeah. what makes that even slightly compelling to the average person? Well, that's something I don't think even the adorably all digital version would would solve. No, it wouldn't. It's just like it's It's like fundamentally not exciting. No, as a concept, that's part of the problem on the Xbox hardware side of things. Um, I guess maybe it is the case that you know if they are bringing ahead their new console to twenty twenty six, you know, it's they're basically taking the hit now in favor of getting you know a head start on the next generation. But even so. yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It's just uh, all a bit baffling, really, isn't it? One thing I do want to say about the 2026 sort of theory, there's not really been much to substantiate it beyond talk on Twitter. Um, and the mm. concept of actually shortening your timeline on developing a new console by two years is staggering, right? It, it yeah. takes a long time to make a console. You yeah, don't just yeah. rustle up something out of the blue. Um, so, yeah. I just don't know what to make of this. It doesn't appeal to me at all, really. Uh, changing the color and removing the drive is... <laughs> I can only think that it is some sort of promotional thing, perhaps related to a specific deal they're doing. The Digital One S? Yeah, they, they, obviously that happened, of, of course, and it didn't it fail to shift the needle at all. In fact, it was met with derision, really. 
I think it's so yeah. I think it is a much more interesting console if there is a six nanometer shrink involved, which certainly the revised heat sink would possibly suggest, although it's not not at all clear that that's the case. Yeah. And if this is a six nanometer device, now granted it would be about two years after Sony did a six nanometer device, but it would have lower power consumption, presumably, you know, some unit to unit variance there, but it would be a a, a compelling console in that sense. But if you do have lower power consumption, then I guess the question would be, well, why don't you do an external redesign? <laughs> uh, so I, yeah. yeah, I just the the notion of like a reduced power draw being somehow an exciting feature doesn't. No, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a value <laughs> add basically, yeah. and yeah, and the, the the whole idea is that it opens the door to a new form factor, which you're not getting here. <laughs> so yeah. It's it's a bit baffling. We need context, I think, to understand this. It may not even come out at all for all we know, but as yeah, I understand exactly. it, this is not like a 3D print or anything. It could just be that, you know, Microsoft are moving to the adorably or digital version, but, you know, I've got some inventory they need to shift. So they've come up with some <sighs> Rip off the band console. baby. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see whether all of this comes to pass. Right now, though, it's certainly a bit bizarre. I think that's all we really got to say about that.